Slade Gorton has a unique perspective. I, I'm no fan of President Trump, but the, the, the law uh, and the way the members ought to think about it is the same whatever, they, whatever people think of his character. He agreed that the House should launch an impeachment inquiry. There's plenty of evidence justifying a charge, a, a charge of, of a, basically of a shakedown. Yet the 91-year-old is skeptical about what he's heard thus far. The leaders of the impeachment parade have not seemed to have tried to involve Republicans at all. Gorton says it differs from the Nixon era proceedings when both sides were at the table and from his time as a key figure in the Senate's trial of Bill Clinton. The first count was perjury, was lying about sexual relations. Of course, President Clinton did it, but was that enough to turn over a, a presidential election? My judgment was no. The second count was obstruction of justice. That seemed to me to be much more serious. Of course, Clinton survived the trial, and Gorton predicts if the House approves articles of impeachment, it is tough to find a scenario that two-thirds of the Senate would vote to convict President Trump and remove him from office. Is it sufficient? Is it sufficiently grave? Is it sufficiently serious to reverse the verdict of the people of the United States in a presidential election? Gordon does believe the timing of this whole process so close to an election cycle will be a factor in the weeks ahead.